The Royal Rumble weekend is over and we got a lot of backstage news to, to talk about and some of them are a bit shocking. This is WrestleRound bringing you today's uh, top 5 of wrestling news and rumors so make sure to turn on those notifications to never miss our coverage and let's get right into it. At the Royal Rumble, we got to see Ronda Rousey and Brock Lesnar win it all. But at least for one of those Royal Rumble matches, uh, things were supposed to go a little bit different. New report finally revealed who exactly was planned to win the match. According to a new report from PW Insider, Brock Lesnar was not in the original plans to win the match. And they revealed that Matt Riddle was the one that was originally planned to win the Rumble. Plans reportedly changed over the course of the week a ton of times and then it was decided to have Brock Lesnar enter the match as a surprise and win the whole thing. They also added that there was a pitch for Randy Orton to win but Matt Riddle was the front runner until the switch was made to Brock Lesnar. All of this probably explains why Randy Orton and Matt Riddle ended up losing the Raw Tag Team titles on a random episode of Monday Night Raw just two weeks before the Royal Rumble itself. It's almost like they were getting prepared for that and this is just one of the changes up to why the Royal Rumble ended up being booked the way that it did and why it didn't feel as special or as good this year and we will talk about that more in a bit. Somebody that we know was backstage during the Royal Rumble was Kurt Angle. He obviously was not one of the surprises but it looks like he is making his return very soon and it's ironic we're even talking about this considering that uh, just over a year ago the rumor was that Kurt Angle was gonna be Matt Riddle's manager. Nonetheless, Kurt Angle confirmed that he will be back on WWE programming once again. In his podcast, he revealed that they want him to be involved in the show for next month. He indicated that he is very excited for it and that we will see what is in store for him. we we'll love him to be part of Alpha Academy. Him managing Otis and especially Chad Gable will be great. Nonetheless, we're gonna have to wait and see. He's definitely returning at an interesting time because we are on the road to Wrestlemania. Into more news in regards to the Royal Rumble. Not really a surprise but there was a good amount of botches on the show. Some of which ultimately changed things. For the women's matchup it has been revealed that the number 2 entry Melina was not supposed to be eliminated that quick. She basically lasted 3 seconds in there against Sasha Banks and once Sasha Banks put her over the top rope she was supposed to hold on. She was said to be so over overwhelmed with the awesome reaction that she got that she slipped off which is something that she actually indicated in an interview backstage so that changed how things were supposed to play it out at the beginning of the women's rumble matchup there was also a big botch towards the end of the men's rumble matchup and that was that kofi kingston was obviously supposed to not be eliminated he was supposed to land on the barricade get back into the ring and then do a couple of extra spots along Side Big E. So unfortunately, Kofi Kingston not landing the save. We didn't got to see what him and Big E were supposed to do. This probably also explains why Big E barely did anything in the Rumble, unfortunately. But this was a mistake. Things happen. The rest of the Rumble could have been booked better, obviously. But the reason up to why it wasn't booked better is because backstage or throughout the day, things were not looking good. It was a complete disaster. According to PW Insider, several times were frustrated with the constant changes in the Royal Rumble matches last week and even on the day off. It was said that the plans for the men's Royal Rumble match were changed literally 20 times throughout the day. Not even just before the show but also during the actual show. All of which led to a lot of superstars being unhappy and the morale of those superstars being at an old time low. Apparently there were a lot of people going back and forth for going into Vince McMahon's office letting him know they were not happy about their spot in the Rumble and what they're doing in it so all of that ultimately led into multiple changes happening throughout the day. Another reason up to why the Royal Rumble wasn't as enjoyable as the last couple of years because apparently two main figures were missing in the backstage and that was a Triple H and also TJ Wilson, Tyson Kidd. Tyson Kidd is one of the best producers in WWE right now usually when we see an amazing match 
Triple H, he probably has something to do with it. And when it comes to Triple H, obviously due to health reason, he couldn't make it there. But every single year, Triple H is said to be one of the most important producers of the Rumble match because he makes sure that every superstar get their spot, get their shine, and that there is a special moment happening all throughout it, not just at the end. It was wild that every surprise that we got in this year's Men's Royal Rumble literally only happened in the last six entries. And they weren't even that shocking. Other reports from Ringside News also indicate that it looks like Shane McMahon, who was also in charge of producing the matchup, got major heat for basically trying to book himself all the way up to the end and even eliminating top stars like Kevin Owens. It's kind of odd to hear reports of Shane McMahon trying to go to business for himself. It's just something that we don't really hear. But all of this apparently made a lot of people angry as he really wanted to book himself in the final group of wrestlers left in the match, which he ultimately did and got eliminated by Brock. Personally, I don't mind Shane McMahon being on the final four because, I mean, to be honest, he was probably the only big surprise that we got. And I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. I actually like Shane McMahon. This man comes out here and he gives us the craziest spots ever. At least he didn't book himself to win. We will see if we get more sources than just ringside news confirming this about Shane McMahon. The other thing that is going around is that Shane is already booked for the Elimination Chamber and also for WrestleMania. WWE has big plans for him and he is said to be a regular on the Monday Night Raw roster leading all the way up to Mania. Fair speculation is that we will probably get Shane McMahon versus Austin Theory. It must be what they are building for especially with Vince McMahon hanging around Austin Theory way too much nowadays. Anyways guys that is all the latest wrestling news if you enjoy our coverage don't forget to hit those notifications and drop a like on this video. Stay savage and I catch you on the next one.